everyone welcome back to my channel today I have my very first kind of political video I really wasn't planning on making this until <laughs> last night I saw the Oscars and first of all I really enjoyed um, the fact that they were pointing out the lack of diversity and everything the monologue was actually really great so I really enjoy aspects of it I'm not that big of a movie buff so <laughs> the movie stuff I really didn't care too much about and oh there's Bowie. So in this video I want to talk about my political evolution and the fact that it's okay to change your political views. You're not stuck in one political party and you're just stuck. No, you can change, you can change your views, you can change the way you think about things and view the world with time and that's totally what happened to me when I was growing up. I grew up in a very conservative household in a very conservative environment. I went to Catholic school so you can imagine how conservative they are over there in Catholic school in Mexico. Holy shit, it's very conservative. <laughs> Extremely conservative and so I grew up in that environment. My household is a very conservative environment. My parents don't like, don't like a lot of things. <laughs> they become a little bit more open-minded, but still I wouldn't say they're liberals or anything close to that. They're definitely very conservative. But I I know plenty of people that are even more conservative, like really hardcore Republicans which is now very crazy for me to see. It's incredibly crazy. So the first time I voted was in 2008. I was a high school graduate. I was going to college and up until then I was incredibly influenced by my parents and the people I was surrounding myself with. So I thought I was a Republican. I really did. I don't really remember questioning any of it. I just kind of went along, you know, I grew up in a conservative household, conservative family, in a conservative lifestyle, so therefore, I'm a conservative. That was basically how I thought about things. Thankfully, by the next election, I did vote for Obama and not for Mitt Romney. I just, my views didn't align with Mitt Romney's views, so that's why I went with Obama. And that's the thing, you have to, when it comes to being a young a young voter, maybe you are you're kind of in the same position as I was. You're just very heavily influenced by your surroundings, your lifestyle, and especially your family. And you kind of do feel a little bit stuck at times. Maybe um, you will feel like you're kind of betraying them by believing in the other political party or just your views being completely the opposite of your parents' views. And I understand that because I kind of thought of it that way. But but you definitely got to stop thinking <laughs> in that way and just start thinking about, you know, what's better for you? What do you believe in? And that's the way I started thinking, especially as I grew up and I started taking more college courses. But one of the things that definitely influenced me a lot was when I studied abroad because I got to live in another country, speak to people from other countries. I It was the first time that I had a really healthy, you know, political talk. There wasn't any arguing, no name calling, none of that, which I appreciate. The, if you want to talk politics, talk politics with a French person <laughs> because they will question you and in a way that you don't get insulted, or at least I didn't get insulted. And I mean, I went to France thinking once again that I was very conservative and I definitely got a lot of my, my views challenged and the more I thought about them, the more I realized, you know, I don't really believe in those things. I thought I did because my parents do, but what about me? What do I believe in? So, like, issues like gay marriage were one of the things I'm just like, you know what, some of my friends are gay, like, why am I supposed to be against this when I want them to find love and if they want to get married, they should have the right to do so. Maybe I don't want to get married, but if they want to, they should have the right to do so. The same with abortion. I remember writing a paper when I was in middle school against abortion. I got a good grade, which, I mean, that's good. But when I think about it now, maybe I personally would not get an abortion if I screwed up and suddenly get pregnant, if I didn't use protection. But I shouldn't enforce what I would do, like my decisions, onto other women. And now, definitely, I'm pro 
pro-choice because it should be that way. Like a woman should have the right to choose whether she wants to get an abortion or not. Personally, I would not get it, but that's my choice. And a lot of those views just changed over time. The more I got to experience life and the more I got to see other parts of the world and see how their country functions, like, Europe, oh my god, it was just so eye-opening and I understand that a lot of European countries are more liberal and I was influenced by that but just seeing how those countries work and how the people live, universal healthcare sounds like an amazing thing. I want that for everyone because <laughs> it's so beneficial. Like when I was living in France, I didn't even get healthcare as a citizen, I got health care, French health care as a resident of France because of my student visa and even so I was just so amazed. It was like the best thing ever because I went from having absolutely no health care here in the United States to having some form of health care in France. It was amazing. It was incredible being able to afford going to see a doctor and going to buy medicine that was affordable. It was such a crazy thing but for them it's just so normal and I wish it would be the same way here. And now that I think about President Obama as an older wiser and a woman that actually thinks for herself, I think he's done a good job doing what I find important or the or taking care of the issues that I think are important. So I think if you're in a very similar position as I was in the past, definitely learn to, you know, think for yourself and not be heavily influenced by your surroundings. And maybe you're in the opposite side of the spectrum. Maybe you just grew up in a very liberal household and you're just very influenced by that. Maybe just think for yourself as well. Maybe you find you're sort of like more of an independent or something. So and be influenced, but don't be afraid to question your beliefs, question other people's beliefs, question your politicians, just question everything. That's one of the things I learned in in college and it definitely stuck <laughs> it stuck with me for the long run. It was a freshman year of college. I learned how to question everything. And thanks to that, I've learned more about myself and more about my identity, what I believe in, what I don't believe in. And it's something that people should practice. I don't think a lot of people do that. And I was <laughs> watching that yesterday when people, like people that are way younger than me, were saying things that were just really puzzling to me, extremely puzzling to me. Things about gay, gay people that, oh my god, it was just so disrespectful. I don't even want to like say it out loud. And disgusting things about sexual assault victims. Like I just could not believe the things that were being said in the room that I was in yesterday. And it's just, it, it's crazy when like people are kind of, I would, I'm gonna say this, brainwashed because they really don't think about others, they just think about what they've been fed their whole lives and I was that same way so I know how it is and I can I broke out of that mold and yes I have completely different political views to my parents. My mom doesn't really care but my dad does so I have completely different political views to my dad and I'm constantly voicing my opinion here in my household. It's not, there's no tension, like um, he's kind of have, he's had to learn to accept my views because I am my own person, but sometimes I challenge his views and he gets a little stumped like, oh you know, maybe, maybe that's not right. So definitely challenge people, challenge your views, challenge other people's views and maybe they'll get stumped too and kind of realize, you know, that way of thinking isn't completely right. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video definitely not a direct response to the Oscars but more of a what I experienced yesterday in the room that I was like watching the Oscars in. So yeah, I just want to encourage people to think 
for yourselves and it is completely okay to change your political views and it's completely fine it doesn't mean you're a flip flopper or any of those bullshit terms people can evolve they can gain knowledge they can start questioning things and if you change your political views then so be it. It means that you've seen a lot more of the world, you've experienced a lot more things, and it doesn't mean that you can't be influenced by people or the media or anything else like your surroundings. You can be influenced, but you also have to learn to think for yourself. What are the issues that you're passionate about? Like, what are you going to do for the next election or your political party that you believe in or your candidate, your ideal candidate? You just gotta be a little bit more proactive. We live in a world where a lot of people are very passive, including myself. I'm gonna call myself out. I've been passive a lot of years. But if everyone that's passive continues to be passive, but just like complaining on the side, then nothing's ever gonna get done. So it's like time to get rid of that mentality, that passive mentality, and start like using your voice for the better. As much as I hate bashing people, and I know this video maybe came across that way, there are conservatives that I get along with that I like, um, but I just don't think the candidates like today are very inclusive and very accepting and open-minded. I think they're completely the opposite and until maybe we get a little bit more refreshing candidates, maybe, I don't know, it's just at this point in time I think they're very close-minded so I don't want to associate myself with that and I'd rather associate myself with something a little bit more open-minded and inclusive and accepting towards others so that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this video is definitely going to get a lot of trolls, maybe. Ho hopefully it doesn't happen, but who knows? It's the internet, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts, your opinions, your experiences. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. Today I have my very first random favorites, and I'm not going to do these monthly just because know how long it will take me to accumulate random stuff so I'm just going to be numbering